Welcome back everybody to another episode of Bikes and Bits. So today we're investigating the 3090 and seeing why its memory is running too hot. So as we can see here, um, GPU-Z says that we're thermal throttling on the basis of temperature. So I decided to break down the card. Um, this is the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme 3090. And you can see another video which I'll put a card to um, where we unbox this graphics card. So here I'm starting to undo the screws that attach the back plate uh, to the board, the PCB. So we take away the screws one by one. Try and do this in opposing diagonal um, so you don't flex the PCB. I tried to remove the PCB um, but it's from the back plate but it's stuck with some hidden screws. So I'll take the PCB and the back plate off in one go like so, being careful to remove a couple of connectors at the back end of the PCB. Then if we flip over we can see the heatsink, big copper heatsink from Gigabyte. Um, and we've got various components, um, GPU core, uh, memory modules, voltage regulators, etc. Next step is to remove the back plate. Um, we can see here that again we've got thermal pads connecting the back plate with the memory modules. So I'm going to quickly clean up the um, GPU uh, and the paste that was on the heatsink and swap out the thermal pads um, for upgraded ones to see if I can get better thermal conductivity. Okay, so we're going to put a new thermal compound onto the GPU core itself and replace the thermal pads like so. But what I found is that even with replacing all of the pads, um, you still got the overheating problem when the memory is overclocked. So this is something which is really, really annoying because you've spent so much money on this unavailable top of the line. This is the Aorus Extreme, so it should be able to overclock both the core and the memory. And um, what's happening is that as soon as you overclock the memory, it's getting so hot that you're not able to um, run the core uh, even at half speed with overclock memory. The reason for this is, I think, is that as you can see from the video, um, Nvidia have put, or the add-in board partners have put, half the memory module, so 12 gigabytes of the 24 gig, onto the back side of the PCB. It doesn't actually have much thermal heat soak material. You've got a very, very thin back plate. Whereas the front side, has this massive copper heatsink with three fans cooling the whole array down. Uh, that's taking heat away from the core itself, but also the 12 gig of mod memory modules on the front of the PCB. Also voltage regulators, capacitors, everything is actively cooled. Whereas the back doesn't have any, and you've got a very thin, cheapy, not cooled heatsink. It's not a question of getting the heat from the memory modules to the back plate. It's that the back plate is totally saturated with heat. Um, and so you've got to find a, a way to get heat off the back plate. So the only way I could run this card overclocked is by jerry-rigging two Ryzen coolers, um, one with the fan on, one just as a passive cooler, onto the back of the card. That's pulling heat off the memory modules through the back plate, um, and then you're getting some kind of active cooling. But if I was you, I would go for a card that has active cooling on the back plate and I'll show a couple of examples of these. Do not buy a gigabyte card if you want to overclock the memory. Okay thanks guys, um, hopefully that was useful and if you like the video please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up and comment in the section below if you've had any similar experiences.